Now we have a question from Kayla in Massachusetts. And Kayla says, I am an extremely determined and hardworking individual. I have a hard time setting boundaries, especially since working from home. I am constantly working or thinking about work. How can I succeed at work while still caring for myself? Kayla, thank you so much for bringing this question to the forefront, asking this question. I think a lot of us who might struggle with anxiety or perfectionism, work is a place that feels really safe, I think, for many of us. And so it can be very easy to lean into work as a, as a refuge from some of the more ambiguous aspects of our life outside of work. With that said, I know that work can also bring a lot of emotions for people. I know that it can be a toxic place for many, um, and there can be a lot of confusing dynamics. Even with that said, I do think work, particularly just nose to the grindstone, doing your individual projects can feel like a bit of an escape. So one way, and I can definitely empathize with this, I work a lot and I'm, I'm frequently assessing, am I working because I'm escaping? Am I working because I'm enjoying? Am I working because I feel a sense of an obligation? And just really starting to self-assess, what is the motivation for me engaging in this work right now? One helpful paradigm is a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, and this is something that I'll post in my feed after this. And it's also something you can Google. So it's Maslow, M-A-S-L-O-W, and then hierarchy of needs. And basically this um, paradigm, it's, you know, a pyramid. And on the bottom, um, the it's the, the purpose of the pyramid is really to identify all the different parts of our functioning in the world. And it's pretty amazing because it starts at the most basic physiological needs. We need water, we need food, we need, we need security. Super, super basic. People can't really function if they don't have food and water and clean air. The next realm of the hierarchy is safety needs. We need employment, we need health, we need personal security. So just above our most basic needs of food and water, we also need to feel safe. And above that is love and belonging. So we need friends, we need community, we need family in order to really thrive and, and flourish. And we can't really invest a lot in our friends and our family and community if we don't have clean air and water. So the idea of this pyramid is that each component builds on each other. And above love and belonging, we have esteem. So this is our place in society. This might be our profession. It is our personal strength and resilience, our status and respect in the world. And then above that, we have self-actualization. And this is the time and experiences in our lives that bring us closer to the fully self-expressed beings that we are. So each part of this pyramid builds on each other. And as a reminder, we start off with physiological needs. So this is food, water, and shelter. We then go to safety. Do you feel safe in your neighborhood or is your home safe? We then have love and belonging. Do you have friendship and community? And then esteem. Do we have a place in society where we contribute? This can either be a volunteer position. It can be a place of employment. It could be a religious community. And then we have self-actualization. Where do we feel the most self-expressed, the most joyful, the most engaged? And these are the different levels of Maslow's hierarchy. So if you're starting to question how you can succeed at work while still caring for yourself, you might consider what aspect of Maslow's hierarchy is, are you really targeting at any given time when you're working? And what might be neglected in Maslow's hierarchy when you're working? So if you've been working for six, seven hours straight 
and you haven't gotten up to get a drink of water or use the bathroom or get some food, that might be an indication that you're working too much and you're neglecting some of your most basic needs. With that said, if you have only been getting those basic physiological needs, you've kind of just been treading water and you feel like your job is really helpful in pushing you forward towards self-actualization and enlightenment, then maybe that's a time to shift and work a little bit more. So I would say as a first step, Kayla, is start to really look at where you are during your workday in terms of Maslow's hierarchy. When you're at work, do you feel connected to a community and friends? Are you getting your survival needs met? Are you feeling excited and inspired like you're really changing the world? And if so, maybe continuing to do that and see how you could generalize that. And if not, that would be a good opportunity to pull back and see what other aspects of the hierarchy need to be tended to.